The market is on fire and first appearances are on the move. I've got 10 comic books that'll definitely add long-term value to your collection. So go grab your Vibe Juice and meet me back here in the comic book. What up, everybody? And just like that, we're back. Another week, another top 10 list. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button. We do this every week. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a top 10 list that you're definitely not going to want to miss. 10 comic books that will offer long-term value to your collection. Let's start the list off at number one. And let's talk about DC's New Teen Titans, issue number two, the first appearance of Deathstroke. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, up 12.86%. Go collect is boasting 814 9.8 on the census. Fair market value says a 9.6 is worthy of $375 of your hard-earned money. Or you can grab a 9.2 for about $220. A 9.0 will cost you about $200. Bucks. But go, the golden egg here, ladies and gentlemen, is the 9.9 .9 on the census. There's one 9.9 .9 on the census. Average price for a raw copy right now is $98, while the average price for a CGC 9.6 will run you roughly about $312. We did have a high sale of $27,572 for the 9.9, .9, and that was back in 2022. This is a great investment book. It'll definitely add value to your collection. I'm seeing really great prices listed on eBay. Take your pick. Decide where you want to go from there. Move with caution, but this book is definitely worthy of someone's PC, all right? At the list at number two, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Star Wars, issue number 42, the direct edition, and this is the first appearance of Boba Fett and first full appearance of Yoda. Average price for a raw copy right now is $202. Average price for CGC 9.6 is $500. Go Collect says it has 442 9.8s on the census. We've got $500 average for the 9.6. That's a deal because fair market value says the 9.6 is worth $625. 9.2s are worth $375 and the 9.0s are worth $300. Of course, lower grades are going for less. This book is up 0.18%. And the high sale that took place for this book was back in 2016 when it sold for $6,600. And that was for the 9.9. .9. And if you haven't subscribed, now's a great jumping on point. I drop a list like this each week. I'll let you know what comics are hot, what comics are not. And normally when I do that, it turns into great buying opportunities for you, the comic book community. Because we strike while the iron is cold. We don't wait for all the talk and all the chatter. We don't like to wait for there to be an announcement about a movie or something and then the book goes sky high and everybody's chasing after it. Nah, we like to wait till all the noise subsides, nobody's thinking about the book, and then that's when we strike. We strike when the iron is cold. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We are only here for the love of the hobby, so check your nonsense at the door. All right? Now, back at the list at number three, and we want to talk about a Beetle, issue number two, and this is the first appearance of Usagi Ujimbo. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is my strike while the iron is cold pick. The fact that this book is down 0.02% makes this a good buying opportunity. 17.9.8 makes this a pretty rare book in high grade. There are only... 22 9.6s on the census, and that's still pretty rare. Fair market value says 9.6s are worth $21,000. Please, don't let the prices scare you. You can snag a 9.2 for about $7,500. Of course, lower grades are going for less, but anything over a 9.2 will likely land land you in the $1,000 range somewhere. But this book is definitely giving off Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibes. I know you can feel it. <laughs> this book is here to stay. This book 
is 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 it it came out and it just blew right up. So this book is here to stay. So definitely keep your eye out on a Beetle issue number two, first appearance of Usagi Ujimbo. All right. Now, at the list at number four, we want to talk about Predator issue number one, and this is the first appearance in comics. All right. We've seen them in the movies, but this is in comics. All right. Now, this book may go up and down on a regular basis, right? Like a roller coaster, but it'll never go out of style. Why? Because we humans, we love our aliens, man. We love our alien movies. And 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 although this book is like slightly up right now at 0.2% over time, it continues to increase in value. So this will give you a good ROI uh and 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 and, and it's something that you definitely want to make sure you're keeping an eye on because slow money is better than no money. That's one of my sayings. Slow money is better than no money. Slow motion is better than no motion at all, right? Because you know that you can slowly but surely make gains over time. This book, average price right now for raw copy is $75. Average price for CGC 9.6 is $158. Go Collect reports having 468 9.8s on the census, which may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Fair market value is asking $190 for 9.6. Uh, in case you're curious, uh, there are 755 9.6s on the census, but I'm loving the fact that you can get a 9.0 for $100. All right, and that's not bad at all. Still near mint condition, uh, still a high grade, and you can get that for $100. The high sell uh, was for the 9.8, and that went for 1,000 clams, yo. That went for 1,000 clams, and, and you have to remember, aliens need love too, ladies and gentlemen. So keep your eye out on predator issue number one because it's moving on that secondary market, okay? At the list at number five. Let's talk about New Mutants, issue number 98, first appearance of Deadpool. Um, and like it or not, Deadpool is here to stay. And as long as Ryan Reynolds, and this is my opinion, because as long as Ryan Reynolds is playing this part, I don't see Deadpool going anywhere, anytime soon. This book is up 1.01%. And here's the thing. We know that there are over 26,000 grades on the census and even if we didn't talk about the 400 and the 4,111 9.8s on the census, and even if we didn't mention that fair market value wants you to pay $650 for the 9.6, you still cannot overlook the fact that there is 12 9.9s on census. Yes, 9.9. And you definitely can't disrespect the one and only 10.0 sitting at the top of the mountain. The community loves Deadpool. And, 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 and I don't think there's anything that's going to change about that anytime soon. Average price for a raw copy is $369. Average price for 9.6 is a steal at $590. If you believe in fair market value, yeah, the $590 is a steal. All right. And just for spits and giggles, the high for the 9.8 was $4,050, right? But don't take my word for it. Um, you can check these stats for yourself. You can go on go, go Collect. You can go on eBay. Feel free to check for yourself. You can, you can look at these stats and see what's moving, right? You can see what's going on. You can, you can look at all the last sales that took place on eBay. It'll confirm everything that I'm saying. These books are hot. And they do gain value over time, which will continue to add value to your collection, right? Because after you read your comics, you put them away, they, some of them tend to increase in value. A lot of times we don't even know that. So that's another reason for this list is to inform you that you may have a book sitting in your PC that may be worth more than $3.99. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even know it, right? So this is great information. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right. Now we're going to move down to number six on the list because this book is worthy of some attention. 
and we're going to talk about Showcase, issue number 17, and this is the first appearance of Adam Strange, right? Yes, Adam Strange. This is kind of like DC's version of Star-Lord, just to put it all into perspective, right? Classic Silver Age, oldie but goodie. Uh, this book continues to increase in value over time. That's why it's on the list. You're looking at $295 for the average raw, average graded copy would run you about $989 to $1,000. There is only 348 total grades on the census, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. High grades are super rare. Going to be tough to get your hands off. I'm talking about a 9.0. There's only one on the census, and it sold for $26,400. Get this, though. There's only two 8.5s on the census. And fair market value says that a 6.0 is worth $2,450. But the average price for a raw copy and low grade is $295. So don't be discouraged. This book is still available. You can still get your hands on this book. You just have to maneuver and, and, and strategically uh, know when to strike in order to get this book. All right? So... If you're in the market for a book such as Showcase, issue number 17, first appearance of Adam Strange, keep your eye out on this book because it's moving on the secondary market, ladies and gentlemen. At the list at number seven, we have to talk about Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 300, and this is the first origin and first appearance of Venom, Eddie Brock. All right, now, with the... With the larger-than-life classic Todd McFarlane cover, you got to love this book. This cover has been copied more than a math test. <laughs> yo, they copied this cover so much, man, it's ridiculous, yo. This cover, it's either this one or that, Todd Mc, that other Todd McFarlane one where he squatted down. Like, those two covers get homage a lot, man, yo. So, but, you know, we, we all know ain't nothing better than the original. And the average price for a raw copy in this book is going for six hundred and thirty-three dollars. I honestly, I can honestly say with confidence, um, the more this book ages, the more value, it, the more valuable it'll be. All right, so this book will always increase in value. Venom, uh, will keep rising. Trust, trust, trust the members. You know, the the comic book community don't lie. Trust them. Right? They 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 love their books, and and and, and we value what we have in our PCs. All right, so even, the, even though there's 34,181 total grades on the census, this book is still beloved by the community. Go Collect Reports having 1,428 9.8s on the census with fair market value asking $1,400 for the 9.6. All right, so you can see the difference there. Do the math, make your choice, all right? Of course, lower grades are going for less, but the 9.9, .9 will make your mouth water. That 9.9 .9 would be a beautiful book to be able to add to your collection, all right? 8.5s are going for $525, and 6.0s are going for 425 This book is worth the investment in any grade. Spider fans, go for it. <laughs> this book is definitely worth the investment, all right? So keep your eye on it. Now, at the list at number eight, we've got Fantastic Four, Issue number 48, and this is the first Silver Surfer and Galactus. Yes, Fantastic Four, issue number 48. All right, Silver Surfer, Galactus, we know they're coming to the big screen. It's just a matter of when. All right, this book is up 0.18% and still climbing. Um, I see this book doing just as well as like uh, Hulk 180, Hulk 180 once and maybe even better in some areas, depending on which grade you get. Um, up 0.18%. Fans are, 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 are definitely patiently waiting. But when these characters hit that box office, it's bye-bye, baby. That, 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 that's when it'll be over. That's not time to purchase, right? So now's a good opportunity to get your hands on this book. Last recorded sale for 4.5 was $1,300. Average price for a raw copy is $1,111. The average graded copy will cost you $1,297. There are 43 9.8s 
the nine point there are 99 9.6s and fair market value is saying a 9.6 is good for thirty seven thousand dollars 8.0s are hitting at four thousand six hundred dollars while the 4.0s are going for one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars the highest known sale for this book was a hundred and eight thousand dollars yes ladies and gentlemen excellent comic book to invest in in 2022, the 7.0 went for $3,672. In 2023, the asking price is now $38,000 to $4,000 or more. So you can see the increase in value on this book. You can see the return on your investment is already there. So if you have a little, a couple extra dollars and you want to make a decent investment, you know, we invest in invisible stock. But what about investing in a stock that you can actually see and you know where it's at? It's in one of your uh, your short boxes or one of your long boxes. That's how I look at it, right? But Fantastic Four, issue number 48, first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus is doing good numbers on the secondary market. So check it out, all right? Make sure you guys continue to watch the channel. Subscribe, share. We love the support. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you like this type of content, I'll continue to drop a list and I may even do some other things. I listen to, to the suggestions in the comments. So that's what keeps the hobby fun, interacting with the community and sharing the love of the comic book for each and every one of you. So thank you for stopping by. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. Now at the list at number nine, we've got The Incredible Hulk, issue number 180, first cameo appearance of Wolverine. <laughs> and I'm not getting into the whole 180, 181 battle with you guys. I'm staying far away from that. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, when I look at CGC and I look at the um, the graded notes that's at the top of the book, it says, first appearance of Wolverine in Cameo. And I'm like, eh, can't argue with that. <laughs> All right. This book is up, people. And every few years... It increases in value. It's up right now, 0.44% and rising, all right? $566 is the average for the raw copy and low grade. Um, there's an absolute, this is an absolute fan favorite book. 690, excuse me, 61, 9.8s on the census. And fair market value says the 9.0 will run you $2,800. But the average price for 8.0 is $1,046. In 2021, somebody gave up $40,800 for a 9.8. That was the high sell, ladies and gentlemen. Even if I bought into the whole cameo first floor argument, it doesn't even matter because I ain't nobody. So it's whatever you guys say. That That's what I, you know, it's whatever you guys like. All right. So, but either way, this book is a great long-term investment. Um, after looking on eBay, you can see how Hulk 180 continues to, to, to move the needle. So even without the, the MVS stamp, even without the Marvel value stamp, people are still asking $500 for this book, right? So even with the MVS gone, this book is still worth a half a grand in low grade, uh, for books in very good condition to fine condition. Hulk 180, you can't go wrong. Wolverine is a must, a definite must have for your collection. Keep your eye on it. Fans love them. I'm pretty sure you're part, you're, you're one of them. So this book is definitely, there's an opportunity here. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And we're going to talk about the hottest book on the market, doing good numbers, definitely worthy of being in the collection. Thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the channel. I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the support. At the list at number 10, we're going to talk about Batman Adventures, issue number 12, the direct edition. This is the first appearance of Harley Quinn. <laughs> yes, the Joker's girl. <laughs> Harley's first appearance made the list because even though from time to time you may see this book drop, right? This book may drop in sales. Uh, but overall, this book continues to perform well. Last recorded sale for this book was $2,760 for the 9.8, right? And as a matter of fact, average price for a raw copy is $552 right now. In all truth, 
This book outsells many of its counterparts, including Poison Ivy. Yeah. So the average price for 9.6 right now is $1,115, which is agreeable with fair market value. 9.2 will cost you $625, and the 8.0s are going for $550. The 4.0s are running about $425, and there's nothing I can say about it because I'm a fan. Numbers don't lie. <laughs> Numbers don't lie, right? This book is going to do well. Um, the high sell for this book was $4,295. Yeah, Harley is a comic book diva, ladies and gentlemen, and she deserves to be at the top of this list. All right, that's my time. I appreciate you. You have your list. Execute, be safe, make wise decisions. Never jump out of the airplane without your parachute. I'll see you guys next week. You know what I always say, don't hate, congratulate. Show some love, because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, always keep it comics. And listen, I'm trying to give away a $50, $50 gift card. So all we need to do is hit 500 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button. For each of you that are watching this channel right now, just hit the like button. Please, I want to give away the gift card. Hit the like button. Bam, bam. Just hit it, please. Let's give away this $50 gift card. We need to hit 500 likes. Like, subscribe, hit the like button. Everybody that watches this video, hit the like button. So I can give away a $50 gift card. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you later, Gators. You know what it is.